the things I want. The so, colors of the cart, the product, how I do it. Sa nang yayari ito? Uh, in the bathroom, the kitchen, most, the suite? Mo, most of the time sa traffic. Sa Grabe traffic? traffic sa so you should be thankful about the traffic, no? Oh, yes. Okay. Most of the time sa traffic, honestly. I see. So, and let's talk about it. The bite the bucket. How, how did you really conceptualize it? Well, after I sold my share in Potato Corner, I, I was trying to create another cart business. Right. So, so sabi ko, sige, bucket, isipin ko bucket. Anything that you put in a bucket. So, I covered everything. Right. So, so you uh, also did those kinds of visualizations and closing yes. your eyes in the traffic? Yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, in fact, the colors, the look of the bucket, and everything. You're doing it alone or somebody is with you? Well, before, um, I have a art director, which mm -hmm. is my visualizer. Uh, unfortunately, he died already. But uh, his job was to draw what I see in my mind, mm -hmm. what I visualize. Right. Actually, ano, uh, even when I talk to my clients now or my partners, mm -hmm. kilakang ko may whiteboard ako eh. Sa opisina namin puro whiteboard ako eh. Kailangan so, see. Whiteboard. Okay, so is there any? Dito lang walang whiteboard na yun. Yeah, I, I, I really intentionally didn't Remove. ask them to, <laughs> okay. to put a whiteboard because I, I may be thinking you may be writing about it. <laughs> And you're going to waste, and you're going to take my time okay. just discussing this. But okay, now let's talk about your commander in chief. Okay. How, how does she really support you? Is she watching right now? I, most probably. Most probably. No, she's 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 in a different world. Uh, she's a well, she's a, a corporate setting. But she's she, she's not part of this conceptualization. No, uh, well, she's my judge dread. Judge. Pag ayaw niya. Ganon talaga yun. Oh. Pero pag tumalikod, sa tutuloy ko pa rin. Because I'm an entrepreneur. Alright. Oh, right, so, right. sa ulo ko. Right. Oh. Okay, so let's talk about the feasibility of idea. I understand that you just created this Japok brand. It's a restaurant, okay. right? So, how did you really come up with that? Is there any particular place na ipinanganak itong Japok brand? Okay. Ganito kasi yan, Lloyd. Eh. For, for sa isang taon, tatlong beses lang ako nagpupunta sa Japanese restaurant. Okay, because it's expensive. Expensive. Okay. So, I was wondering kung pwede ko ibaba siya sa lower class, mid, mid Presyo class. Presyo na kaya ng masa. Presyo kaya ng masa. Pe presyo kaya ng call center. Presyo kaya ng FX commuters. Is it supposed to be part of the conceptualization of business? I mean, you cannot just uh, generate an idea and close your eyes and then just imagine that, okay, this is the look. Well, one of the component I use is creating the unique selling proposition. The selling proposition of this Japanese restaurant is affordable. Mm, affordable. Lasang, lasang hapon, presyong Pinoy. Mm. That was the, the premise of the idea. Of course, kasa, sa sunod dyan yung presentation ng tindahan, it has to be al fresco, uh, hindi siya intimidating. Kasi before, when you go to a Japanese restaurant, ano siya, hotel dati, nag-umpisa sa hotel, uh, mahal ka agad, mm. you know. So, creating Japok gave me an eye-opening na mura pala. Right, right, right. So, can you just imagine, my tempura, four pieces, I sell it at 135 with rice. Oh my goodness. But I think I don't pay it, eh? Whenever I eat in your restaurant. No, libre ka palagi. Oh, hi. Um, mm. uh, okay, buti nila nabagit mo yan sa TV. Now, <laughs> I, I got you there. Okay. But anyway, um, paano nangyayari yung isang George Winnie kayo nag-conceptualize? Nung bata ba siya, ganyan na siya talaga? Or na-accidente siya, kaya siya naging ganyan? Oh, well, actually, ever since... Ami ang mahilig na ako mag-imbento ng negosyo. My mm -hmm. first business was a karenderia in front of our gasoline station. Okay. Okay. Then I used to clean yung mga mga jeep for mm -hmm. 50 centavos. Tapos nagpupunta rin ako sa Kartimal, mamimili ako ng dagang costa. Set. Right. So, ever since Mahilig ako magnegosyo, mahilig ako mag-conceptualize. My, my staffs are protesting. Bakit ako lang daw ang libre? Dapat buong staff din ng GNN. Oh, definitely. I will have to ask Carl, Kema. Okay, now you're asking He's somebody finance. else. He's the finance. Pero sa akin, wala nang finance, finance. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, now let's talk about again. Let's go back to the conceptualization. Is it a hard part of the business to conceptualize? Or is it the, the easiest part? Ako, para sa akin kasi, that's the, the hardest part. And at the same time, ito yung pinakamasaya. Mm. Um, what, actually, yung nagpapasaya sa akin is yung, yung from imagination to reality. Okay? Tapos, pag nakikita mo pang bumibili yung uh -oh. customer, etc. 
it's like a uh, work of art. Hindi hindi lahat ng tao nag-iisip na. I mean, some may be, you know, some may prefer to just ano, oh, maganda 'yun ah. Maybe we can just duplicate it or replicate it. Well, not, not too many people are gifted with that. Or is it something that uh, you can learn? 